After yesterday's drop of the OG analog pocket colorways, it's safe to assume that pretty much anyone who's wanted to get their hands on the handheld has had an opportunity to do so, which leaves a lot of first time owners and maybe even some long term owners asking themselves one question. What's the best way to carry this thing around town? When I picked up the analog pocket two years ago, nearly two years ago at this point, I had to ask myself that same question. And unfortunately, there weren't as many options available as there are now. The only two that I can remember were this Pelican brand case that wasn't necessarily made for the analog pocket. It just accommodated it because of the dimensions. And then of course, the analog pocket hard case sold by analog themselves for me these weren't the best options so what i was doing was i was just carrying it in the box that it came in until the box fell apart of course those weren't the only two options at the time as a lot of people they retrofitted like like uh, old pouches and old bags from um, older hardware such as the game boy or the nintendo ds and of course as time went on companies decided to start making bag specifically for the AP. A San Francisco based company by the name of Waterfield decided to roll out some of their case solutions for the analog pocket. I was enthusiastic about it because finally we have something new that was made specifically for the AP. But when I saw those prices, I'm not even going to say the price out loud. Like I'll just put it, I'll put it right here. For example, thinking about how much the analog pocket cost, and looking at that that price point for a bag, it's like, yo, who would pay that much for a bag for the analog pocket? So I ended up paying that much for a bag for the analog pocket. Why did I spend that much on, on a bag for the AP? Well, let me explain. Number one is the community involvement. So before we even talk about the bag itself, let's just talk a little bit about the company. In 1998, Gary Waterfield, he started his namesake company in San Francisco, which has made bags and cases for a number of tech items. And that includes phones, tablets, and laptops. So the company is experienced in making these case solutions for a number of tech items, number of devices. Even though they do have that experience of uh, over 25 years in the industry, they still turn to the community to figure out what our needs were as far as like what, what we needed for a case for the analog pocket. I remember specifically when those when those uh, surveys went live because they were trying to identify like, OK, if we were to make a bag, what are the things that actual pocket owners are looking for in a bag? So I thought that was dope. In addition to that, the craftsmanship and attention to detail is bar none. So the design and the materials are not only marketed as premium, but they do feel premium and it's highly functional. In addition to the zipper that's on the outside, when you actually open the bag, you have these plush pockets that are suited for like your bulkier items. So the AP itself, maybe if you want to carry the dock with you or if you have the cartridge adapter or things like that, those go into those plush pockets. And then you also have the zippered pockets, which carry things like cartridges, cables, any of those smaller accessories that you want to take with you. And organization was definitely a priority when it came to making this bag. Some of the other details about it is you have these, these water resistant zippers. Honestly, like rain or just just the elements has never been an issue. I've had this bag for over a year. And I've taken it out when it was raining and, and I've never had a problem. To be completely honest, it's still kind of still looks as fresh as the day I bought it, which is which is that's pretty dope. So with that out of the way, Let's uh, let's get into my EDC for the analog pocket pack. Now, fun fact, as I open this bag, I was on Reddit and I pitched the idea to some people about like uh, making this video. And I asked like, yo, what are you guys using? And somebody said, yeah, like, I can't wait for you to make this video. Like, I love EDC content. And I was always under the impression whenever I saw EDC videos, I thought people were talking about going to, what is it, Electric Daisy Carnival. But when he said that, I was like, oh, yeah, EDC is a everyday carrier. It's not as interesting as I thought it was, but I digress. So before we even get into the inside, so taking a look 
at the outside zipper. So I carry carry a few things in here. Well, well actually, I, I don't carry too much in here. So I have these like these uh, tooth floss pick things or whatever, because you never know. You want to hit the spot, hit a, hit a little restaurant. And after, after din din, after you do what you do, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that your teeth looking right. And then aside from that, I also carry these alcohol pads just because, again, you never know. Like the, my biggest thing is just making sure that I keep my AP as clean as possible at all times. So that's it for the outside zipper. So, of course, the more interesting stuff is going to be on the inside. Before I even go any further, I just want to I want to preface this. I'm not going to have any like combat knife or or freaking uh, like multi tool or some sponsored item that I don't carry with me on my day to day. As a matter of fact, this is actually what I what I really carry. And, and right after I finish recording this video, I actually have to go to work. So this is everything that I take with me on the on the daily. There's there's like nothing in here that I don't use. So We'll start with the analog pocket that I carry on a daily. If you've seen my last couple of videos, you know that I, I own quite a few. The one that I carry with me on the regular is the purple transparent. I keep this purple transparent. I don't know. I was hoping that this one in particular would have been a darker shade of purple as, a, as it was promoted to us initially. I'm still not mad at it. It's still a pretty good color. Um, I don't necessarily switch the one that I take outside, but so yeah, and, and that's the AP, um, that I have with me right now. The cartridge that I have in there, of course, is going to be a game that I actually started recently that if you saw my top 25 list, I kind of shitted on it. Um, but I'm reversing my opinion game that I have in here right now is Fire Emblem, specifically the Sacred Stones. And I don't, once I picked it up, I haven't been able to put it down. Like it's, it's super dope. So looking further into the the pockets or um, to the left flank of the AP, there are these two pockets right here. The top one, I typically keep empty. I don't really, I don't really uh, have anything else I want to put in there, but the bottom one, that's where I put my keys, you know, I got a little Costa Rica joint over here. Got a little Evil Eye from when I was in Tunisia. Um, I got some SIM ejectors. I got, I got a bunch of stuff on these keys. I keep some, uh, some more uh, personal hygiene items. So of course you got the little moisturizer and then keep a fragrance too. I think this one is a uh, Tom Ford. It's uh, something, I think Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Cause once again, you never know. Sometimes you gotta like freshen up, keep yourself fresh. All right, but that's that's enough of that. The zippered pockets, the zippered pockets is where we keep the more interesting stuff in my humble opinion. So we'll start with the top zipper. Top zippers, there's, a, there's two pockets on the, the top zip, zipper and two pockets on the bottom zipper. So like I said, organization was definitely a priority when, when it came to designing this bag, which is what I really appreciate. So on the top left zipper, I have uh, two cables, one of which is a charging cable for my phone, just in case. The other one is the charging cable for the AP itself. Um, and again, I keep these here just in case this, I never really use them just because the analog pockets battery life is just, it's, it's superb. Like it's really good. Um, and I also have these SD card adapters. So of course this is going to be for like, if I'm on to go, if I, if I want to, uh, if I want to update the software or if I want to download a legally obtained ROM if I want to do that but then also uh these these uh, SD card adapters they serve another purpose I'm going to get to that in one second so 
that's the top left zipper top right zipper the top right zipper pocket is where i keep my link cable for the ap i actually know a few people who own the ap and sometimes you know what i mean like like we link and uh we play whatever games together that we can at the moment i think this is a really really good cable and if you know someone else that has an analog pocket and you have one yourself then i highly recommend it it's a it's essential gear to get to the bottom zippered pockets that's where where i keep my uh, cartridges so yes i still play with cartridges even though i have the full library of most things on my my ap but the reason that i carry my cartridges around with me is because i get overwhelmed sometimes with how much i have to choose from from that entire library it's like having cartridges with me that allows me to focus on one or two games at a time whereas if i'm just playing solely on open fpga i'd be weaving through five to six games at any given moment and for me personally even if i'm making little progress in all six of those games is not necessarily the most productive use of my time like I, I would prefer to just focus on one or two being able to travel with the cartridges it gives me those games that I can actually like latch on to I have three GBA cartridges um, first is going to be the Everdrive this is basically if I want to play one of the Game Boy Advance games that I don't have physically, that I that I have a ROM of. And if I wanna play them um, and get those display modes, those display modes, which um, aren't available on OpenFPGA, but at the end of this month, so at the end of December, 2023, the version 2.0 software update should be addressing that. I don't think there's really gonna be a use for the EverDrive, but right now it just stays in the bag with me. Second GBA cart is uh, this multi-cart, this blue multi-cart. Fun fact, this is the same cartridge that I have my original save file of Summer Night Swordcraft Story 1. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it, get it off of this cartridge and put it on to open FPGA. So if anybody has any ideas, that would be highly appreciated. And then the third cartridge I have is Seema the Enemy. I'm trying to finish this game up. It's, it's definitely been been a, a great experience and one of the games that made it to my top 25 by the way if you haven't seen my top 25 game boy advance games i'll put the link in the description that's that for the gba and the only two game boy slash game boy color games that i have with me um in the bag pokemon crystal and tetris the last thing that i could carry in this bag I were to take my keys out and leave the uh the left side free i always in addition to my analog pocket i always travel with this so my fuji film x100 v that's usually like uh put it on my shoulder i'm just wearing it out but whenever i do want to put it in a bag i have the entire left side i can just put it right there course it's gonna make the bag a little bit heavier but it's still able to fit in the bag and it doesn't add too much bulk to it it is a little bit noticeable but then at the same time you know this is a very very specific circumstance like if i have to run for a train or a bus or whatever which i'm not really doing too much of these days but if i needed to do so the op the option is there which is what i appreciate and that's pretty much it so once again the bag does come at a pretty hefty cost and if you were to ask me if i were to recommend it to to everyone i wouldn't necessarily recommend it to everyone if you have a little excess income and you're looking for a super solid solution for to carry your ap and just a, a bunch of other things then this this may be the bag for you but again it's not for everyone not everybody has those needs specifically so and there's a bunch of different options that are available and as time goes on there's going to be a lot of people who will create more so for example there's a bunch of custom ones that you can find on etsy or just talking to people in the community 3d printed ones there's cheap ones that you can find on amazon the list goes on and on and on what's the best way to carry around the ap in your opinion 
leave it in the comments. And as always, my name is Kyle. Appreciate y'all for watching. Peace.